At best, there is confusion um, over the level of the funds, but at worst, there is a potential cut of hundreds of millions of pounds. I mean, if you look at the, the annual contribution from EU structural funds between 2014 and 2020, it was about £2,000 million pounds, uh, a year. The National Council for Voluntary Organisations uh, in England they estimate that the fund will only provide £866 million, cut of £1.1 billion pounds every year. And we've heard also from the Minister about the Treasury Committee report about a cut um, of 40 per cent. So what will be the impact, if it's the worst case scenario, what will be the impact on projects across the UK? Because this is not just a Scottish issue, I have to say to the Minister, this is a, a UK-wide issue. It's almost six years since the referendum and two years since we actually left the EU, but still the Conservative government has not worked out what it is doing. They are moving far too slowly, which is causing massive uncertainty in the sector. Organisations face a cliff edge on their funding as a result. Jobs are at risk, as is the vital work that they do. I believe in federalism. I do actually think it is the answer uh, to the problems that we are facing over this and many other post-Brexit issues that we have been debating uh, today. I would argue that we should have the structures of engagement for areas of common interest. This is one area that would benefit from a partnership approach. I think most people in this country want governments to just get on. They want them to work together in partnership, put aside the constitutional differences and actually make things work. And they need to do that in partnership with local authorities.